Checkpoint is presented by GM Pharma, the first international multinational pharmaceutical company in Georgia. GM Pharma, to serve those who need it most. Not only COVID hit us very hardly, but uh, currently uh, the economical situation, uh, the Ukrainian-Russian conflict, and uh, and also um, the high inflation, uh, the rising fuel costs. So everything all together, I think we can easily conclude as uh, as as being a crisis, unfortunately, again, uh, for many other sectors, but for aviation as well. Uh, and yeah, these are big challenges, uh, as you just uh, said as well. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we are hit by that. Uh, and uh, I would say uh, next to the inflation rate and the rising fuel costs, uh, one one big um, um, problem let's say problem for us is the uh, is the systematical problem uh, in the whole of the aviation uh, industry uh, given that the industry currently is um, struggling with the um, stuff the whole of the industry so I'm not talking about Visor and I'm not talking about Visor specifically because uh, we have enough uh, crew uh, I can um, I can disclose that uh, and uh, we are very lucky we consider ourselves uh, as to be very lucky because we did realize that the uh, industry is ramping up very quickly so staff for a shortage is not a problem of Visor right no, it's not it's not yeah. a problem of visa, but it's a problem of the whole industry, specifically when it comes to ground handlers, security stuff, and uh, air traffic uh, management. That's the biggest bottleneck, air traffic uh, management. Uh, and uh, I'm I'm hoping, and everyone, everybody at Visa is hoping that uh, we will, the industry itself, uh, the whole of the industry will um, sort this out um, quickly. The sooner, the better, obviously, uh, because uh, it affects our operation as well, uh, because uh, because the whole system, you know, is just um, it's just not working uh, as it was uh, before the pandemic uh, when we were uh, working uh, very successfully. Uh, but then uh, first COVID hit us, and then we are facing other challenges. So we are working uh, together uh, with the airports, with other airlines to fix this issue. Um, I can tell you that uh, we are fully staffed at Visair, so it's not a problem uh, of staff um being um, uh, missing uh, at visa but uh, because of the air traffic uh, management ground handlers uh, securities uh, facing uh, crew shortages uh, we are also uh, struggling sometimes because uh, many times uh, it can um, result in uh, delays and even cancellations um so yeah so this is not an easy time for the for the whole of the industry uh but uh, we are hoping that uh, we will manage as we did uh, always uh, in the past uh, we are in this together and um hopefully um this will be um over soon mm -hmm. you represent uh, one of the um, biggest budget airlines uh, in europe um so uh could, uh, can we say that the um, uh, expensive flight tickets are uh, as a result of the, the jet fuel crisis has has risen, or there is there other reasons that may cause these expensive flights? Even yes. in Wizard's case. Yes. Yes. Um, well, um, I think there are more factors. Uh, of course, uh, increasing fuel prices is one of them. Surely. Uh, inflation is uh, is a second one, um, and then third one uh, because our prices at uh, Visa are always dynamically changing, so they are subject to demand and supply. If there are many people who want to travel, uh, obviously ticket prices will uh, will be more expensive. Lucky for us, uh, people do want to travel this summer uh, because they couldn't uh, in the past uh, one year, two years uh, because of the COVID. Uh, they were afraid, and uh, obviously it was uh, not an easy situation. Um, many people just decided to stay at home, uh, postponing their holidays, understandably. Uh, but this summer is a different one uh, for many of them. Uh, many of them have been waiting for their vacation for uh, two years, and uh, they felt like this is the time. And because many people felt like uh, this was the time, obviously, um, 
more people uh, wanted to uh, to to fly uh, with other airlines and with us as well. Um, so we had record numbers of passengers, for example, uh, in June. Um, never ever um, so many pa passengers uh, flew with us. Um, so so yeah, so many people want to travel. Uh, the demand is high, and uh, therefore uh, prices also uh, go up. Uh, but if the demand will be uh, lower, chances are our prices will be also cheaper uh, in the autumn period, for example, or in winter time. Uh, so when when we are talking about the uh, nowadays uh, traveling, we talk about the flight cancellation, lost luggages, and which is the major problem uh, that face uh, this industry right now. How easy are plans to cope? with this crisis? We did actually um, do quite a number of uh, things to adapt to this situation. So first of all, uh, as I said earlier, even in last September, we started the recruiting. Uh, so we hired a lot of new uh, cabin crew and, uh, and also captains. Uh, so we did secure um, our position as being fully staffed for this summer. And uh, I believe uh, this one, uh, well, this was a this was a crucial uh, initiative or step we we took. But then still, uh, it didn't prove to be enough because the whole industry uh, is and was suffering, as I said. Uh, so what we did. Um, is we adjusted our schedule and we unfortunately uh, needed to cancel about uh, five percent of our flights for july and august period uh, just to secure um, the um, good level of operation and to avoid um, last minute uh, cancellations uh, due to atc slots uh, or due to um, uh, um, crew shortages uh, not us again but uh, you know at ground handlers or security but most Mostly uh, ATC. Um, so we did uh, we did that, and then we are very sorry for for cancelling, uh, as I said, five percent of our flights. But we did that um, in advance, uh, so that uh, the passengers could be notified, uh, and we didn't want to ruin uh, anybody's uh, vacation last minute. Um, yes, it's uh, it's not good news for for those passengers, and then we feel with them. But we wanted to secure our operations, so uh, we did that well in advance and uh, hopefully with the new schedule with the adjusted schedule uh, we can um, we can carry uh, passengers to to the to their um, destinations uh, we we do um, about 130000 uh, people um, we fly to their destinations every day so we are doing uh, very good i believe and um, I, I, I don't think there is any more we could do. Uh, we always try for um, taking them to their destinations on time, uh, every time. So um, this is uh, this is what uh, what we managed to find out, to figure out, and uh, we believe this is uh, this is helping. Uh, and my final question about the crisis: uh, Can we say, and can you say, uh, uh, the short? period in this short or long-term period that um, uh, fl uh, flight ticket prices may be decreased? No, uh, I can't. Uh, I can't say that, uh, certainly. Uh, or like, you know, um, I, I can't um, give my word to that at this point. Uh, but um, yeah, I, to be honest, I can't, uh, I can't uh, predict uh, but as always in autumn and winter time, uh, people uh, tend to travel less. So if the demand is lower, then the prices are usually going down. Uh, so I believe uh, if you want to uh, use uh, or travel with, uh, with budget prices or for bargains, uh, then I would probably just... Um, I don't know, uh, search for or choose or pick a destination in Italy uh, where the weather is still good uh, in October or November and just travel there. And uh, hopefully if the demand is uh, lower, then the prices will be lower. This is all I can say uh, at this point, because uh, obviously no one can think of the uh, fuel prices or the inflation um, well ahead. Uh, things are not looking too good at the moment, um, as, as we all know, unfortunately. Uh, but demand and supply are the most important factors when it comes to our pricing. Uh, so if the demand is lower, then prices uh, are probably going to be lower. 
And um, my final question is about the cooperation. Uh, I mean, the cooperate your uh, company's cooperation with the Georgian Aviation Authorities, not only uh, Georgian Aviation Authority, but but also the Georgian Ministry of Economy, uh, which is a kind of supervisor of uh, Georgian aviation industry. Um, what are the topics uh, you wish to discuss or change? Is there anything like that? Well, uh, I, I have to tell you that our relationship is uh, very good and very strong. And uh, we just met yesterday, obviously, at the, at the celebration uh, when we uh, bought the second base uh, back to Kutaisi. And then uh, I met uh, them in, in June as well. Uh, we had the discussions about how to uh, solve certain uh, ad hoc situations, obviously, and how to plan well for the future. Uh, so we are discussing uh, long-term uh, plans. Um, but our relationship is very good and fruitful, and I believe we can cooperate uh, very well. And hopefully, uh, we can uh, we can just improve our operation together. Uh, we are very grateful for their support, indeed. So I I I um, I, I need to tell this, uh, and uh, hopefully they they also uh, love the fact that we are so dedicated here for the market and we we have plans. Um, so I believe uh, our relationship couldn't even be better, and uh, I'm I'm very much looking forward to to us working together in the future. The checkpoint is presented by GM Pharma, the first international multinational pharmaceutical company in Georgia. GM Pharma to serve those who need it most.